Today's lesson will be proving triangles similar. Our objective is to use the angle-angle postulate and the side-angle-side and side-to-side -side similarity theorems to use similarity to find indirect measurements. So basically, if we use angle-angle similarity, side-angle-side similarity, side-side-side similarity, we can prove that the triangles will be similar. Don't get confused with the rules uh, of congruent triangles. Okay, we're going to deal with similar triangles, not congruent triangles. Essential understanding, you can show that two triangles are similar when you know the relationships between only two or three pairs of corresponding parts. So postulate uh, angle-angle similarity states that if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. So this is similar to the third angle rule of triangles. So if you know two angles are congruent to two angles, you know that third angles are also congruent. So how does this apply to similar triangles? Well, if you know one angle and one triangle is congruent to another angle and another triangle, you have a second angle, in this case, angle R and angle L are congruent, you can determine then that the two triangles will be similar, okay? So it's a shortcut and it only works for triangles. So you don't have to find the side ratios of the triangles because you already have this postulate, okay? And it's angle, angle. So let's try to apply the angle, angle postulate. So I wanna know if these two triangles are similar and how do we know? So is RSW triangle and triangle VSB going to be similar, not congruent? Well, I know that I can mark up my vertical angles congruent. So in this case, I have vertical angles congruent. I have angles 45 degrees congruent. So I have angle R congruent to angle V. And I have angle S congruent to angle S. So this is angle-angle similarity. Two angles in one triangle are congruent to two angles in another triangle. Therefore, the triangles are similar. Therefore, I, my similarity statement will be triangle RSW is similar to triangle angle R goes with angle V, S goes with S, and then W goes with B. So the two triangles are similar by angle angle down here i have two triangles let's see if they're going to be similar notice that i don't have side ratios i don't need side ratios to determine if triangles are congruent now i can use these shortcuts angle angle side angle side or side 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 so 180 degrees in a triangle so angle k is 80 degrees because 30 and 70 is 100 180 minus 100 is 80. Okay. Now I have two, tri two angles over here. I have 85 and 70. When I add them up and then subtract from 180, I now get 25. Now notice that, do I have two angles congruent? So I do have angle 70 and angle 70 congruent. But that's it. I don't have a second angle congruent to another angle and the second triangle therefore these triangles are not similar again they're not similar because two angles in one triangle are not congruent to two angles in another triangle i just have a one to one it has to be two congruent to two congruent in order to be similar So let's try this one. Are these triangles congruent? How do we know? Well, it's, this is 90, this is 39, this is 90, and that's 51. So remember, 180 degrees in a triangle. So again, I know that it's in the right triangle. I know the other two angles have to add up to 90. So if I do 90 minus 39, I get 51. So I know this is 51 and this is 39, okay? So now I know that these triangles are similar by angle, angle. This is isosceles, so this is 68, two. 
So if I do the isosceles triangle, I have 180 minus 68 minus 68, and I get 44. And to find the other angle measurements in the second triangle, I know that it's an isosceles, so I have 180 minus 62, then I divide by 2, and I get 59. So I know that this is 59, and this angle is 59. So these are not similar triangles. Again, the reason why they're not similar, I don't have two congruent angles in one triangle congruent to two congruent angles in another triangle. I have no congruent angles, therefore I can't have similar triangles. You also have side angle side similarity. This states that if you have two equal side ratios with an included angle being congruent, the triangles are similar by side angle side. Let's zoom out. Then you have side 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 similarity for triangles, which states that if the side ratios are all congruent, then the triangles will be similar. So here you need two congruent side ratios with congruent included angle that's the side angle side two congruent side ratios with congruent included angle side 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 similarity you have three congruent side ratios and again these are shortcuts to prove triangles are similar so let's do some examples so example a i have Two triangles I want to know if they are similar well I don't have the angles I could find the angles using law of sines or law of cosines I should say but I don't want to do that I want to do just my similarity shortcut rule so I'm going to see is the two triangles similar by side 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 so I need to find my side ratios so I have my side ratios I have my 10 getting compared to the 15 I have the 6 gets compared to the 9, and I have the 8 compared to the 12. Remember, the largest gets compared to the largest. The smallest gets compared to the smallest. And then the middle gets compared to the middle. That's how I know what ratios I'm setting up. Now I can reduce 10 over 15. So this is 2 thirds. 6 over 9 is the same as 2 thirds. Well, I know that 3 can go into 6 and 3 can go into 9. So this is 2 thirds. 8 over 12 is also 2 thirds. So since all side ratios are congruent, I know that the triangles are similar by side, side, side. Now my similarity statement for letter A, I have triangle s u t is similar to triangle okay s gets compared to w or sorry gets compared to x u gets compared to w and then v so again those are similar by side 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 letter b i have I'm going to redraw these triangles so you can visualize it. So I have triangle K, L, P. And then I have triangle K, M, N. So K to L is 8. K to P is 12. K to M is 8 plus 2, which is 10. And K to N is 12 plus 3, which is 15. Notice that both triangles share angle K, so I can mark angle K congruent my angle arcs. So I'm going to see, are these congruent by side angle side, which states that I have two congruent side ratios with the included angle being congruent. So I need to check, is 8 and 10 
the same as 1215 because I have angle K equal to angle K. So this is testing side angle side. So 8 over 10 is going to be 4 fifths. Is it the same as 12 over 15? Well, I know 4 can go into 12. But 4 can't go into 15, but it's 3. So I have 4 fifths. And I have angle K is still congruent to angle K. So these are similar by side, angle, side. So I have two congruent side ratios. And right here, I have congruent included angle. So my similarity statement for here, I have triangle KLP similar to triangle K. M, N by side angle side. Here are two more examples. So let's test. Okay, side, side, side. I'm going to see if side, side, side similarity is true. So I'm going to test is six gets compared to eight, six gets compared to eight, and nine to 12. Reduce. So I can reduce 6 over 8 is 3 fourths, 3 fourths, and 3 fourths. So these triangles are similar by side, side, side. All side ratios are congruent. Therefore, the triangles are similar, not congruent. So I have triangle ABC similar to triangle A gets compared to E, B, F and C gets compared to G by side, side, side. Then I have my other triangles. I want to see if they're similar, so I'm going to redraw. There's angle A, W, L. Redraw my second triangle. There's angle A, there's C, and there's E. So A to L is 8. A to W is 6, A to E is 12, and 16. So this is side angle side similarity possible. So I need to check is 8 over 16 the same as 6 over 12? Well, yeah, it's a half equal to a half. And I have angle A in one triangle congruent to angle A in the other. So these two triangles are similar. So I have triangle A, L, W similar to triangle A, C, E by side angle side. You can also use indirect measurement to find lengths that are difficult to measure directly. And one method of indirect measurement uses the fact that light reflects off a mirror at the same angle at which it hits the mirror. So here's a little example. Okay, here you can use similar right triangles to find a height of a cliff. So instead of using angle of elevation with sine, cos, and tan, you could use indirect measurement with similar right triangles to find the height of a cliff. Okay, so in this case, I want to know what x is. Okay, here's x, and here's 5.5, 6, and 34. So I know that triangle HTV is similar to triangle JSV. So if I know they're similar, they're similar by angle angle okay i have my 90 degree angle 90 degree angle my uh, angle of reflection is going to be congruent okay because there's a mirror there again these are not vertical angles this is the angle of reflection angles of reflection are always congruent so i know that the ratios are going to be congruent by angle angle so if i have 5.5 over x 
equal 6 over 34. I can solve this proportion by cross multiplying. So I have 6x equals 5.5 times 34. So I take my calculator and I can do 5.5 times 34 and I get 187. So I get 6x equals 187, therefore divide by 6. I get 31. Point one six, and that's the height of the cliff approximately. So indirect measurement is using similar triangles of by angle angle. Therefore, the side ratios have the same ratio by angle angle. So I set up a proportion to solve for my missing variable. So let's try these examples. So are they similar? Well, if I know this angle right here is 35, I know this one is 35. And I know there's 180 degrees in a triangle. So if I take 180 minus 35 and minus 45, I get 100. So I know angle R is 100. I know I have angle E is 35 and angle E is 35 and 100. So these two triangles are similar by angle angle. So I have triangle AEZ similar to triangle REB. And that's by angle angle. Example two. Let's go to a new page. So for example two, are these similar? Well, I need to check. Is two over three the same as three over four point five? The same over four over six. Well I know two thirds equals 3 over 4.5 equals 4 6 is also 2 thirds. Well, is 3 over 4.5 the same? Well, I have to convert because remember, no fraction or sorry, no decimals allowed in a ratio. So I have 2 thirds equals, I'm going to multiply by 10, multiply by 10. I have 30 over 45 equals 2 thirds. Well, 30 over 45, I can now reduce. 30 over 45 is 2 thirds. It's 15. 15 goes in the 30 and 15 goes in the 45. So I have 2 thirds, 2 thirds, 2 thirds. Therefore, I do have triangle ABC is similar to triangle. Well, angle A gets compared to angle F. B gets compared to angle E. And then here is D by side, side, side. So remember, this one's a little tricky because you actually have to change the look of 3 divided by 4.5. So remember, ratios, uh, try not to have decimals in your ratio. So how do I get rid of my decimal? I multiply by 10, which moves the decimal over uh, one space to the right. Uh, let's go to the third example problem. So are they going to be similar triangles? Let's find out. So I need to check is 16 over 20 the same as 12 over 15? Well, 16 over 20 is 4 fifths. And I know 12 over 15 is also 4 fifths. So I do have similar ratios, 4 fifths and 4 fifths. Okay, now I need to check, okay, side angle side, side angle side with angle 
G congruent to angle E. And again, it has to be included. If the 70 was anywhere else, okay, if 70 was with F or B, then it could not be similar because 70 is not included. So these triangles are similarity by side angle side. So I have triangle G A U similar to E. Uh, what goes with angle A is going to be B, F by side angle side. Uh, An error analysis, which solution for the value of X in the figure is at the right is not correct and explain. So let's zoom in. So which value of X is not correct? Well, I know that this is eight, six in the congruent angle. You also have four. And six. So here in this case, I have eight and six. And nine and X. Well, let's look at it here. I know these triangles are similar. First of all, let's stop getting ahead of ourselves. I know these triangles are similar because I have congruent angle arcs right there. So these triangles are similar by angle angle. So if they are similar by angle angle, I know that the ratios are going to be um, all the same. So I know I have. 8 over x, okay, because they're both across the double, equal to 4 over 6. Okay, so if this is my correct proportion, this is my correct, I know that a is incorrect, and therefore x is 12. So there's a little summary on similar triangles using angle angle, side angle side, and side 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 similarity rules. If you have any questions, shoot me an email uh, or post a comment on the YouTube video, see me in class, uh, and we will work on this before we take a quiz.